everyone! So I hope you guys can hear me well. Um, today we're gonna finish up, hoping to finish up the octopus. Um, again, it's from the pattern, it's from Hooked by Robin, and she has her own YouTube channel with a great tutorial and her own website with the pattern. Um, I'll link it in the description so you guys can like find it if you guys want to make it for yourself. Okay. And then always if you guys want to are interested in buying some of the stuff I make, you guys, um, my friend is selling them for me and I'll link her down below as well. Okay. So yesterday I so I finished up the bottom part and I started, I did like one row up the top. Um, I wanted to do more, but like, you know, I felt guilty. <laughs> I was like, oh, I should probably stream with the whole thing. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're going to do today, hopefully. And then I wind up, I winded up my yarn because it was like so messy yesterday. It was bothering me. And then I have my black yarn. For the mouth and my yellow, my pink, hot pink yarn. You can't really see it here. It looks like regular pink, but it's hot pink. I swear it's hot pink for the blush. Okay. But yeah. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, my pattern here. This is where I'm at number two. So to decrease. So, um, it's going to be a little different than it was yesterday because I couldn't really concentrate, constantly talking. So this one, I'm just going to, you know, we're just going to listen to some music together and crochet, you know, like crochet with me if you guys want, or, you know, or just have me in the background with the music. I don't know. Let's just relax and chill. You know, and I'll occasionally pop up and say some things probably. But I don't know how often, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so yeah. All right, let's get started. And then I have these stitch markers. One of the things I learned is always to put a stitch marker when you're stopping a project in the middle, so it doesn't come undone. <laughs> so yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So again, this isn't a tutorial. Hugged by Robin has her own tutorial. That you guys can follow so yeah let's start five Jeepers. Ugh. It's yarn okay one two and if you guys hear some rustling it's my I'm in my pet room. I uh, yeah, I'm one of those people with a pet room. Two, three, four, five. Decrease one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have a pet room. Um, I have my guinea pigs in here, and they're constantly eating hay because you know their gut needs to keep moving. And so yeah, if you guys hear any rustling, it's probably the guinea pigs eating, digging through the hay, looking for the good pieces, you know. So yeah. And then I do have my tortoise in here. It's a Russian tortoise. Yeah. I'm gonna pull some out. So yeah. And then if you hear some jingling, it's my dogs just walking around. Now I don't forgot where I stopped. One, two, three, four, five, decrease. One, two, three, four, five, decrease. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, decrease. Okay, two. Three. Four. So I think the plan today is I do want to finish this octopus. One, two, three, four, five. But yeah, um, 
That's just kind of hard, like, because I have to, like, make it smaller for this little necky part, you know? And it gets kind of hard, like, when it's, like, really that small. Let me move it so you guys can see. Okay. Make it pretty. Kind of pretty. Damn it, I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Three decrease. One, two, three, four, five, decrease one, two, three, four, five, decrease one, two, three, four, five, decrease. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have to decrease. Okay, yeah. Okay. So I do have a list of stuff I have to remake too. To restock the stuff that my friend sold for me. Two. Three. But yeah, that stuff I think I'm gonna do another stream because kind of a lot of stuff. Um, I don't think I don't know. I can show you guys the list, but it's a lot of stuff. So like some of it I'll probably do on stream, but some for some of the bigger stuff, like I think on the list it was like two octopuses, like in a lighter pink than the one I'm doing right now. Um. You have to make two of those. So we'll see. But yeah, so. Yeah, let's just crochet. So have you guys ever tried um Dollar Tree yarn? Like the groups I follow, like a lot of them use Dollar Tree yarn, and I don't know, they really like it. They make like plushes and stuff with it. I'm very tempted to go buy some, cause if I can save money, you know, why not? But yeah, like. I don't know if you, do you see like it's really soft and everything too. And then like they have like acrylic and I think they also have cotton. I don't remember. Ah, go on. So those are guys who crochet or knit. What's the first thing you guys made? I think the first thing I made was, I think a scarf. Most likely a scarf. I feel like that's like the majority of people's first project is a scarf. But yeah. So lately I've been thinking about getting into uh, mac macrame. And. You know, like I found some macrame cord, I guess it's cord, um, at Hobby Lobby. And 
I don't know, I'm not really exactly sure like what kind of stuff I need. Cause I did watch videos and there and some people said that like oh you don't need a lot of stuff. But other people are like, yeah, you need like all this stuff, but I don't know. I'm kinda thinking about like what else I could do with the yarn since I have so much. Like I know some people like they make rugs out of yarn. So that might be kind of fun. Like I saw someone make a rug on TikTok and then they had like this yarn punching thing or whatever. And like that looked fun and all, you know? And like they had like they like projected the print that they wanted to do on like their cabins and they did it. Oh shit, am I messing up? I think I'm messing up. What did I do? No, I just messed up there. But <clears throat> he um put it put the the image he wanted to do up on his canvas, you know, he projected it and then he used his yarn gun thingy you know it looked really cool and then like after like he had to like seal the back i think and and then he went in with like scissors to you know to like define help to find the rug you know like up to that point i was like oh yeah i think i can do it and then he did the scissors you know defining i was like i don't think i can do that <laughs> like i don't uh, i think i'm gonna mess up <laughs> But yeah. Uh, here's your click clock in. That's my dog. Where am I? Okay. I feel like I messed up. I don't know. Let's see how much we can do. Do you like this music? Is it too loud? I don't know. I'm trying to create like a chill ambiance. But I don't know if it's really working. You know. Sorry guys, that's my dog. He's trying to- he likes playing with um... Empty water bottles. Yeah, that's the that's what he's doing. He's trying to get it out of this corner here. Am I gonna help him? No. You know what? He got it, and now he's leaving. He's gonna take it to the other room and chew the shit out of it. And then I'll be like, "What the hell, man?" I'm gonna have to go clean it up. So yeah. So do your dogs chew stuff up a lot? Like my dog, he has a lot of toys with like um, stuffing in it, and um, he just oh man, I forgot what I was doing. He like chews it up a lot, and then like he'll take out the stuffing too to get like get to the squeaker, and then he'll chew up the squeaker. But it's like bruh, if you don't chew it up, you know? I could probably, like, make you a new toy with it, you know? So, yeah. Uh. Once we start increasing again, it should go a lot faster. Okay, so now I have to stuff the legs a little bit. Let me get my stuffing. So the stuffing I use, um, what's it, can I get out? Polyfill. Um, I, 
I think this one might be from Hobby Lobby. Um, this size, what size is this? 16 ounces a pound. They sell it for like um, $2.99 or something. And, but, but, Joanne, they have, okay. Joanne's has a lot of coupons all the time. They have a lot of sales. You know, and Hobby Lobby, these sales kind of rotate. So, like, for example, like, the yarn I buy, <clears throat> it's on sale every other week. You know, like, the whole yarn is on sale every other week. And, you know, so they kind of know, you know, like, how long I should wait and stuff, you know. But, like, Joanne's, you know, they have, like, Sometimes, you know, like, their yarn will be on sale for, like, 30%. Oh, shit. Am I too close to the mic? It's, like, 30% or sometimes... You know, it's, like, 40 60%, you know? And then, like, sometimes, you know, on top of that, if it's not, like, a doorbuster deal or something, then you can use, like, another coupon. You know, like, for st in-store pickup or whatever. Like, I feel like I can still save more at Joanne's. But yeah, anyways, a polyfill. Um, Joanne's, they sell it like in like 20 pound boxes and stuff. And you can, sometimes it's on sale. I have yet to get it when it's on sale over there. But then apparently it's a really good deal. So like, I missed the sale. So I went on Amazon and ordered like a 20 pound box. But I mean, I didn't save any money or anything. But... Next time it's on sale, I think I will. But I'm trying to work through all my the bags I have, cause um I have this bag right now that I have, and then we had there was like a yard sale like last Saturday or two Saturdays ago. Not this past Saturday, the Saturday before, there was a yard sale and like they had stuffing, you know, they had this polyfill, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go buy it. And then she sold it, I think it was like two pounds, and she sold it to me for like two dollars. Which is like, a gr I think it's a great deal. But I was like, <laughs> it was so exciting, you know, so it's like, oh, maybe she has yarn, you know, like fabric, you know, maybe she made something with it. But it was just a polyfill, like looking for yarn and stuff, but. Yeah, and then I got like a cute little basket that I wanted for downstairs. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to put in it right now, but. I know where I want to put it. So yeah, I just need a little bit for the legs and then have my stuffing left over. So yeah. Okay. So now we're going to start increasing. Increasing. Where am I? Okay. Going to increase and make it big. So now, I finished this part right here. This here. So now, I'm going to start like on this little part right here. And then once it gets to like, I want to say like here, this row. It gets easier because you have like more material to work with. So I feel like around here maybe, will get faster. So yeah. We'll see. Hopefully, after this, I can make like a little octopus keychain. Those are really fast to make. Those take like 15 minutes, I think. But I just need to remember to use the right um, hook. Because several times I've made it and I used the wrong hook. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where to go. But yeah, and then like one, two. And then one time, like I was making it and then... I almost forgot the eyes, but like I remember before like I closed it, I did like the little tentacles, you know, and then like I made another one after, and then this one, I totally forgot the eyes, like I sold it up, I finished it, and I was looking at it, it was like, oh shit, I forgot the eyes, so I have to take it apart, I hate taking it apart, cause like once you like sew in the end, it's kinda hard to take out I feel like. At least it's hard for me. I don't know how it is for everyone else. It's kind of hard for me. So, yeah. One, two. 
Did I want to increase? Oh, and then I did find a pattern for a beanie. Not a beanie. Um, a bucket hat that I want to make. And her pattern is different. Because, like, it's like a circle that you have to make, you know, for the top of your hat. And she, like, usually when you increase, you have to do, like, two sing like one single crochet increase, you know, like, for one whole round. And the next round, you do two single crochet and then an increase. And then the next, the next round is three single crochet and increase. You know, you basically do that until you get the size that you want. But she just did um, single crochet and increase the whole time until she got the size that she wanted. So I feel like that might be good. My husband is in here and I don't know why. Why, why aren't you watching me? I am. Just not online. Why? Okay, I'm good. Wait. 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 What, what do you mean? Hi. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so I think it'll be easy enough for me to make. So yeah, that one I have to figure out when I should make it. But then she used like a bucket hat, like a fabric bucket hat that she had purchased for like reference. You know? I mean, like, she tried it on her head, too, and stuff, you know, but, like, oh, wrong one. Increasing, not decreasing. But, yeah, she would, like, use, like, a bucket hat she had purchased, like, for the size, you know? And I think I'm gonna do that, so I have to go buy a bucket hat, but, like, I'm not gonna wear it, you know? So, it's, like, I just need, like, a cheap little one. And I don't really know where to buy it. Like, a cheap one. I don't know. Or like I did like a measurements too, but we'll see. Cause oh my god, decrease. So yeah, I might buy a bucket hat, or maybe I'll just use measurements. I don't know. Cause like I want it to be the size to be unisex, you know. Like I don't want to have like different sizes. I know everyone has like different size heads and stuff, but still. Ah, come on. One. Two. Do you guys hear a train? Um, we live by the train tracks. So, like, we don't, I don't really hear it a lot sometimes. <clears throat> kind of, like, drain it out. But sometimes, you know, it's like, when it's really loud, it's like, you can't really miss it. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I don't know how to do this right now. Three. Okay, to increase more. Two, three. So if you guys are just starting at crocheting and don't want to like invest a ton of money, you know, on like crochet needles and stuff. Hi, husband, wife of gaming. How's the sound? Is the music too loud? So yeah, if you guys like are just starting out, and you guys don't want to spend too much money, you know, on yarn and like hooks and stuff, materials. Uh, you guys can always always go to like Dollar Tree or like Daiso. They have Daiso. I know Daiso has like yarn and um, like crochet hooks that you guys can get. Um, I know Dollar Tree has yarn. I mean, we already talked about that. Um, I think they have crochet hooks. I mean, they kind of have to know if they sell yarn. So yeah. Because this hobby, like, once you get really into it, it gets really expensive. <laughs> it really does. Mm. 
Oh, I think I messed up. How did I put it do there? I think I did mess up. I'm not paying attention. Oh, damn, yeah. I did decrease there. To... Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Definitely messing up. I'm gonna go to the beginning. <laughs> One, two... So it's three. Three single crochet and increase I have to do. Okay, increase. Facebook Messenger. Did I mess up here? No. Damn it! I don't know what I'm doing! Where did I increase there, I think? One, two, three. Okay, increase. It's hard because like, you don't have like... It's, the hole's really small. It's kind of hard here. One, two, three. Nope. That's not it. Increase. So when I first started, like started doing rounds, they're like you need a stitch marker. And I was like, I don't have nothing. And then one of the things there was like, oh, you could just use yarn, like a scrap piece of yarn. And also that's what I did. That's what I first started out with. And then I moved up to bobbin, not bobbin, um, bobby pins. And then I got these little thingies. Cause like you can like close it and it's like secure, you know. I still use bobbins occasionally. The only time I use scrap piece of yarn is when I don't have these or bobbins near me, and that's mostly just at work. <clears throat> They're going to take it. Okay, so let's continue increasing. Now I'm gonna count my stitches and make sure I have the right amount. I'm supposed to have thirty, so we'll see. One, two, three. Oh, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna increase again. One, two. So if you guys do decide to make this for the first time, I do recommend um, watching the tutorial first because she does like the the staggered increases, where if you see, like she does. Hold on, let me get my crochet hook. I can point with that. Ha ha ha. So she does like you do like the regular increase like I was talking about before. And then she does staggered ones, where it's like two single crochet increase, and then you do four single crochet. Like, so you kind of follow the pattern, you know? But you have like, you're doing this in the beginning, 
And then when you end, it's like two single crochet again. You know? So it's like five single crochet and then three single crochet. Increase six. Increase. And you end with three. And keep kind of going with that. <clears throat> so yeah. And then when you decrease two, it's like the same thing. So yeah, like this part was like really confusing for me. When like I first looked at the pattern, I was like, what the heck? Like I've never done that before. <laughs> but um, it's so that it gets like a really round circular shape because if you just increase like the normal way then it kind of gets like a hexagonal shape so yeah it's to prevent that so yeah all right let's continue so i did two to increase oh that was my guinea pig I don't know what's going on. Oh, no, it's my dog. What are you doing? <clears throat> so my dog has free access in here. And sometimes the guinea pigs, you like throw their poop out of their cage. And he likes to eat it. Yeah, he's disgusting. Very, very disgusting. Okay, two. Three. Ah. I feel like I'm not really liking this hook right now. Maybe I'll change my hook. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'll have to show you guys all my hooks too. I have so many hooks. Oh, what am I doing? One, two, increase. One, two, three, four, increase. What's that increase? Oh, sure. One, two, increase. One, two, three, four. I don't think I increase. Oh, I did decrease. So annoying. Okay, so one, two, and then these two are the increase. I knew I did something wrong. Okay. So it's four. I'm gonna change my crochet hook. I don't. I'm not feeling this hook right now. I feel like it's um, preventing me on my speed. 
if that makes sense. Is this the right one? Four. Yeah. See, I can't tell too, because, like, if you guys look, does it look like the same size to you? Like it's supposed to be? But, oh. Like, I don't know. Because, oh. Try to do this right. Nope. Okay. You know? Because the one, this is the one with the handle. This one looks thicker. So, I don't know. We'll see. But it's kind of, I feel like the handle's like bothering me. So, yeah. I have my coffee, my water here. To do five One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, what kind of um crochet hooks do you guys prefer? I prefer the metal ones. Two, three, four, five. Like I have um plastic ones and the wood ones. The plastic ones I don't like because I, I feel like it doesn't- oh, I'm messing up. I feel like it doesn't glide really well. And the wood one, like, I don't know. I think I got, like, cheap quality ones. So that might be why. But the ones I have, it kind of snags a lot. Three, I think that's three. Four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So it kind of snacks a lot with the wood one. <clears throat> now, another thing with the wood one I don't like is like here. The little indent that how much it goes in. You know? Like the wood one that barely goes in. So I don't really like it. Like it doesn't really catch the yarn really well. So yeah, like, I like the metal ones. I think even like when I was knitting before, I like the metal ones too. Yeah, the, this crochet hook is a lot better without the handle. The only reason I bought the one with the handle to let me finish this row. Three. Four. Five. Okay, so the only reason why I bought some with the handle is because um the way I hold my needle my hook sometimes like i kind of hold it really tight and like i have like a little callus growing right here and like i want to prevent it and like still a little hard but i mostly get it when i use like my smaller hook my 3.5 hook <clears throat> so yeah i mostly get it like with that one i think so yeah um i got five two three One, two, three. Okay. 
Is it three increase? One, two, three increase. And six, two, three increase. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my hand's high. <clears throat> so when I'm increasing or decreasing, I get scared when I get toward the end. Because the end will tell me if I messed up or not.
One thing I hate about these stitch markers is that my needle always goes in it at the end. I think it happened like every round. Okay, so I'm done increasing. So I have to do like 10 rows of like single crochet. So that's just gonna be. I think this is like. Looks like up to here. And I have to do like 10 rows. And now we're gonna do the decrease. So yeah, let's get it done. I want to finish it today. Okay. Um, so ten rows of just single crochet. One, two. So one of the things I started doing with um when I make ergumi is. I have to do several rows of just single crochet. I like to crochet like quite a bit. So let me show you guys what I do. Cause that's to mostly help me keep count how many rows I do. So I can just you know like crochet and like when I feel like you know I can stop and count and double check how many more I have to do. Okay, so I do like a decent amount. And I get another stitch marker and I put it in between the stitch in between the row I just did and the last row I did and then later I can just count you know because it's telling me it's one row and then later as they build it up I can double check it so yeah that's a that's something I do Me See, it happened again. So see, this is, you can tell, one row, one, two. So yeah, this is the trick I like to use. Because if I didn't, I would have to figure out like, oh, which row is this, you know? Because like when you start on the, especially this one, when you start on the top, it counts as row one. You know, so it's like, where's row one here, you know? 
I mean, I guess I could just count five from the tentacle, right? One, one, two, three, four, five. And I'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Did I mess up? It says twelve to twenty-one. Oh wait, 12. Oh, okay. This is 12. Yeah, because this is 13 here. The second row here is 13. Let me count over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5 rows for the tentacle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Oh man, did I mess up? Wait, I might have messed up. I don't know. This is why. Now it's gonna bug me. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, that count was right. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's just continue with our single crochet. Almost freaked out because I don't want to start all over. Need some water. Are you guys good at drinking water? Because I'm not. <coughs> I can honestly go like the whole day without drinking water just because my water isn't near me I could literally do that and then it's like at the end of the night I'm like I'm so thirsty and then my husband yells at me to drink water so yeah like he drinks a lot of water like I was never really good at drinking water like this couple years ago though I was um I went to the gym a lot I was a gym rat. <laughs> I was at my fittest. Right now, I am at the largest I've ever been. <laughs> like, so yeah, like, I was a gym rat, you know, I was like, I was pretty fit, you know, I wasn't like fit fit, you know, like, muscular or like lean or anything, you know, but I mean, you could tell, you know, like, 
you know, I was like, I don't know what the word is. I was, um, like, you could tell, basically, you know, that I worked out, you know, I was, like, taking care of myself, you know, like, you could see it on my face, you know, like, I was able to see, like, the first time I was able to, like, see my collarbone, you know, like, <laughs> like, because of working out and stuff, I was like, wow, progress, <laughs> but now I can't really see it because of, you know, I gained weight and everything, but, um, yeah, okay, so anyways, what I'm trying to say is, um, I used to try to drink like a gallon of water a day, you know, and I used to do it. I used to like put like fruit and stuff in it and sometimes, you know, like it helped me drink it, you know, but like I would have to go pee a lot. But also like when I would put like other stuff, like besides the lemon, if I did like cucumber or like apple or something and like it kind of ferment in there, you know, because it wasn't cold and it kind of tastes weird. So like, I don't know. I think sometimes I did, and then like people would be asking me because I carried on this big jug, and they'd be like, "Oh my gosh, how much water are you drinking?" And I'd be like, "I'm trying to drink a gallon a day." And then, <laughs> and then one of I was like tutoring with this little girl one time, and then like the dad he was like, he was like, "How many gallons is in the ounces?" You know, and like he took out like I don't know how many how many water bottles it was. He was like, "You're drinking that much." I was like, I'm trying. <laughs> but yeah. I really should start again. And like, and I can because like, I work at an office now. But it's like, I feel so guilty, you know, going to the bathroom so often. Sneakers. I feel like this is gonna be bigger than it should be. Let me see. What row am I on? Oh, I can count my rows, huh? Because this was supposed to be 12, 13, 14 rows, right? <clears throat> so 14 rows should be like. Let me see. 14 year old should be like here about okay I'm going to grab my tapestry needle and it should be about here I think it was so let's count one two three four five one two two one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen is under the needle. So I have twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh yeah. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's keep going. To pull up more yarn. I go under.
I'm gonna turn up the music a little bit because my husband just said that turn it up a little bit yet. When I asked him like so long ago about it. That better husband. So when we were in um what's it called? I don't wanna say it because I don't know like I don't on YouTube people like they don't a lot of people don't say it because um what's it called like YouTube doesn't like it or whatever. But when we all had to stay home Did you guys get into like any of those trends? You know, like I got into the Animal Crossing trend. Um, I think Animal Crossing honestly helped me get through it. Cause was, without it, I'll be so bored at home. So yeah, like I was working retail, you know, so it's like they didn't let us work, which is fine. You know, I need a break from that place. But um, yeah, I got told into Animal Crossing, and then I stopped because like it was like. Or at least repetitive. I would do like the same thing every day. There's like nothing new to do. But now like I know they have like changed a bunch of updates and stuff and DLC. And you know I try to pick it up and stuff and like try to play it. But I don't know. It's like it's not there anymore. Like with that last big update when they did that. What's it? I don't even know if it's the last one. Maybe they had another one. That um vacation one or whatever. And like, they're gonna let you like farm and stuff. You know, I got so excited. And I was trying to like redo my island. But I like moved people around. And I did like the vacation thing. I did like maybe two, three homes. And then I stopped. And then I haven't picked it up since. But yeah, and then I got to that. Um, we tried to make bread. But we don't have a, like a big enough space to like roll bread. Um, what else did we do? Oh, that coffee thing that dong dong. Well, I don't know how to spell it. Like D A L O N G A or whatever. That coffee, that TikTok coffee thing. Where like you use like instant coffee and you you whip it a really long time. I tried that. I did not like it. I don't know if I use like the wrong instant coffee or what but it was so bitter for me i don't like it and it took so long to do like people are like oh yeah so fast it took so long <laughs> that like my husband took over and then the whole what's it called the plants like i know a lot of people got into plants and stuff but i didn't get into it until like uh, I want to say like the beginning of the year I got into plants and I have quite a few plants. I have plants outside, you know, but I want to plant inside. So I have some, um, I guess I'm not really into plants because I haven't gotten any more, but I don't know. I don't know like where to go and buy plants really like, cause I just go to like Home Depot and stuff, but yeah, like I bought like a pothos. Because I know like a lot of people had it. I was like, oh my gosh, I want one. And then it was the, like, I think there's another one. Like Swiss cheese pothos or something. I got that. I got, um, what's it called? String of hearts. Because my mother-in-law had it, has it in front of her house. You know, I really like it. And so I bought one when I saw it at Home Depot. And it's doing really well. And then I have plants outside, but can't really enjoy them I mean the ones inside I can't really enjoy either cuz like it's like my kitchen's a mess right now cuz like we have mold and stuff so we can't like we haven't really been spending time downstairs cuz like everything's like pushed up against the wall and everything like all our furniture and stuff so yeah but I still like my plants
Oh yeah, and then we got um a dog during quarantine too. And then I was scared, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get this dog. What if, you know, they want me to go back to work, you know? Like right after, you know? But I think I had like a like about a month of time before I had to go back to work. So yeah, like going back to work, you know, it was fine. Like going back to retail only because like we're so close. And we were mostly doing like online orders. And I'll oh, get my hair out of the way. And um we we're doing um what's it called curbside pickup. And thankfully I never had to like actually do it. Like I never picked up the phone for that. Um But yeah. Like it was okay, like time by it went by pretty fast, you know. It was okay only because there were like no customers. But I don't know, I'm gonna start hiding with customers, man. I hated it. And then I got so annoyed too, cause like, you know how they're like, oh yeah, like high traffic areas, like restaurants and like nail salons, you know, that's like where it's spread. And, you know, this whole time I'm like, how's the mall not, not one of them? You know, like gets crowded, you know, people don't social distance or anything. You know, like, the mall is a high traffic area. But they're like, no. It's just restaurants and spas, you know, it's like social gatherings. It's like, do, do you guys not know what people go to the mall for? <laughs> like, come on. And I was like, I was waiting for them, you know, like, to close the mall again, you know, like, during that second wave. But they're like, oh, no, it's okay. Mall's not a high traffic area. I was like, dude, have you never been to the mall? Come on now. But yeah, I'm glad I'm out of there. I'm glad I wanted to do another Black Friday. Like, Black Friday was the worst. Like, I was mostly at the register and everything. But I don't know, it was just the worst because it's like, constant line, you know? Like, people don't stop. Like, one of the things that got on my nerves working at the register, you know? It's like, there's people on the floor, you know, that can help you. But, like, they don't ask them for help they come up to the register and ask like oh do you have a different size it's like dude you could have asked someone on the floor come on you know like that really got on my nerves because then i have to stop and then a line's gonna build up you know like i just want to hurry up you know get you guys out of there you know so i can go home maybe my speed didn't really matter honestly but you know and then if you were to ask my coworkers over there when the happiest I've been is, they're all gonna say is what they're all gonna say is when it's time to clock out. That was my happiest. I was the happiest then. Cause that meant I get to go home and leave this place. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I think retail is a good starting point. For most, for some people, I know some people can make a career out of it, but I'm not one of those people. Like, I can't with people. Like, they get on my nerves. Like, I don't know. Cause like they're like, I don't know. Cause like the return policy, like one of them, one of the things like the tags need to be attached, and you have to have the receipt. You know. Because when, like, I didn't work for Target or Walmart, you know? And they're like, the customer, you know, put on the receipt and you'd be like, Well, I didn't know that. No one knew, no one told me that. It's like, it's right on the receipt. And, like, we've had customers that's like, oh, I'm not going to read that. It's like, well, that's not our fault that if you're not going to read it. Like, we have the policy there for you to reference to. I don't know. It's annoying. Let's see how many rows I did. I need 10 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. I have 7 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So yeah, see, because of that, I can just count from there. And I have 7. If I didn't do that, if I didn't have anything, I would have to count from here, see? <laughs> like how I was doing it before. So yeah, seven. So I need like three more rows. Two more after this row. 
And then I can work on the face. He It honestly does look like it's gonna be bigger than the green one. I don't know. I hope not. I hope it's like relatively the same size. So I think this looks better without the handle. The handle kind of, I feel like, got in the way. My hand position was like awkward, I feel like. Two, three, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I have one more. And then we can do the eyes. All the face details we can do. The eyes, the mouth, and the blush. Okay, and that was my last row of the single crochet. Okay, I have another stitch marker. Stitch markers are your best friend when you're crocheting or knitting, I feel like. Okay. Okay, see? Now I'll come out. Okay, so let's see. I have to do the eyes first. Okay, so these are my eyes. I have... These are my most used ones um, that I use. I have other sizes, but then no, the patterns I have ask for those sizes. <laughs> so yeah, these are the 12 millimeter. I need that and two of these backing. And then there's these small ones is six, I think. And this one I use for like the little keychains. And then this is my keychain ring that I use. Yeah. And then, oh, I'm gonna need this to sew on the stuff too, actually. This needle. Okay. Alright, let's do my eyes. So she recommends that you do it on the opposite side of where you start. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, to place it between rows 16 and 17. So this is. And this should be row 21, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. So it should be this row. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah. Okay. And then all oh, the 10 stitches apart. I never know if I should use like this stitch right here, right next to the eye, or this one. But I don't know what I did here. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe I just don't want it next to it. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, there's one there too. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know. We'll see what I fail. One. See, that's the reader to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this eleventh one needs to go in. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so then. What am I doing? One. Two, three. Yeah, I think that's good. Touch my eyes. Here. You just push this in so it goes like under this groove. Try to push it so it goes like under the second one too. It's kind of hard. Okay, I think it's in there. So yeah, whenever you, if you guys do sell this stuff, well that one went in easily. If you guys do sell this stuff, like I recommend um I must start doing it actually. Um I'm gonna start putting like a choking hazard label on it. Because these even though like you have this backing here to secure it, it can still pop pop off. You know, it's like a choking hazard for little kids. So, I am like my dog actually, uh, <laughs> I made a whale. And I messed up on it. Like, my tension was really loose. And it was like on the nightstand. And, oh, hold on. Okay, it was on the nightstand. And my dog got to it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, my dog got to it. And he ripped them out, the eyes off. He ripped it off. So yeah. Because of that, you know, I don't recommend it for a dog toy. Because he ripped it off. Like, I was really hoping he didn't eat it, you know, because like... I didn't want him, I don't want it to take him to the vet. You know, be like, hey, help me. <laughs> be like a thousand dollars. For like surgery and stuff, whatever. He just pulled it off, he didn't like eat it or anything, so that's good. But yeah, I would just do that just as a precaution. Because you never know. Right? Okay. So I try to adjust this, I use as little yarn as possible when I'm making the mouth and like the cheek just so that I have enough for when I make more later because this yarn I'm using um it's like from before like a couple years ago when I used to crochet it's like my leftover yarn from back then so I'm trying to like use those for like these little piece these little like parts you know why is this mouth so small? I feel like it's really small. I'm trying to adjust it a little bit. Eh, I feel like that's okay, no? Oh, that's pretty cute actually on the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna tie it. I just do like two knots. that's good so cute I'm gonna cut it just leave like a little tail you know just in case okay so now the blush
hopefully you guys can see a difference. If you guys heard like a yelling right now, it's my husband. I think he's streaming a game right now. And he gets real passionate. So yeah. I think that's a good thing. What should I do there? Let's see. It's gonna be like that. It's like closer, I think. I'm gonna move it in more. There, I think that one. Can you guys see it? There, see? It's like a little darker for the blush. See, this pink yarn that I'm using for the blush, this is Red Heart. And this is like my leftover yarn from before. So yeah. Trying to use it up. Okay, there's one blush done. There's a different way you can do blush for like different types like of our ergomi. 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 Um, like, especially when you do, like, people. When you crochet people, I guess. And it's like, do you use, like, actual makeup? And you, like, kind of just, like, use, like, pink blush or whatever. That's gonna be okay. Caught it with my legs. But you just, like, use your, like, blush or, like, pink eyeshadow. And just put it on there you kind of like spread it around like i i thought like it was something else like this whole time i don't know i thought it was like some other process like i didn't know like it was just makeup but now i know i feel like this is weird there But yeah, um, hmm. I feel like I have to do it there. Whatever, it'll be fine, right? But yeah, I thought it was like you have to like paint it and stuff. But it's just blush. Like, I don't know. I thought it was, it was like a cool little info thing I learned, you know? Like, I would have never guessed it was just makeup, because it's like, I don't know, like, I was just thinking like, oh, you know, like, get washed, you know, it's gonna come off, no? But, yeah. Okay. So, my blush is done. No, it's kind of offset, but I think it'll be okay. It should be fine. Okay. When I'm done with that, I'm gonna take this one off, because I don't need it here no more. Yeah. Yeah. So now I have to decrease. Oh, I'm actually gonna stuff it a little bit because once like you can close it, it's kind of hard. Like, cause I want to stuff it so like help support the neck, you know. So I'm gonna stuff it a little bit and help keep it shape as I crochet. Yeah. Just stuff it. I think that's good. So yesterday, you know, I was telling you guys about how, um, like this, the Facebook group I'm in, like they're like, oh yeah, I freehanded this. You know? Someone freehanded a freaking doll. <laughs> like, it's freaking amazing, dude. <laughs> it looked really good too. It looked really good. I don't know if I'll ever get to that point where I'll feel comfortable like freehanding something. I don't know. I feel like I can just freehand like simple stuff. But like a doll, like it was all detailed. She had, it had hair. Well, I mean, like everything like a doll had, you know, had like an outfit and everything too. It's like, I don't know. It's like pretty amazing. It's like, how do you guys come up with this? I don't know. It's like, I feel like it'd be so hard for me. Like, but you know, like probably needs to come from somewhere, you know? And it's like, y'all are freaking creative <laughs> to be able to do that. Like, I wish I could do it. 
Oh yeah. Alright, we're gonna to decrease now. Okay, so four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So one of the things with crocheting... You know, I have no clue what I was going to say right now, actually. Never mind. Oh wait, is it going to be? Does it look like it? I don't know, I feel like it might be a little bit bigger. I don't know. Okay, I remember now. So one thing about crocheting is like here, you know how I just did like 10 rows of like increases? Now to decrease. Now I'm gonna like keep mistakenly like trying to increase like what I was doing when I was increasing. I was like mistakenly decreasing. Like I'm gonna do that again. One, two, three, four. Decrease. That's, I think we're gonna be able to finish it guys. I'm excited. I'm sorry, new project after. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, um, this doesn't really take a lot of yarn. From one skin of yarn, I've made um two of these octopus plushes. Two whale plushes that I showed you guys yesterday. Um, I think I mean like two or three octopus keychains, depending on how much yarn I had. And four of those wristlets I showed you guys yesterday as well. Um, so yeah, like it doesn't take that much yarn. So yeah, you guys could definitely make like several. I would say if you guys are just gonna make like octopuses with it, I feel like you guys can. Make three for sure out of one skein of yarn. Um, four maybe, but I don't know. Depends if you wanna play yarn chicken or not. One, two, three. If you don't know what yarn chicken is, basically you're crocheting a project and you don't know if you can have enough or not. And either you lose or you win. <laughs> like, it's nice when you win. Because, you know, like, you can your project is going to be finished. You know, so it's nice when you win. When you lose, it's kind of frustrating because, like, now you have to wait to go buy more yarn. <laughs> So yeah, I've lost several times. Two, three, four. <clears throat> so this camera I'm using, I stole it from my husband. He got it for his gaming, because he had like an avatar. But <laughs> it's like, I need a camera 
for this, you know? It's like, he doesn't need an avatar. Two, three, four. So, I took it. One, two, three, four. Five. Six. Seven. But he ordered a new, new one. He ordered another one. So that he can have one too. So I think I'm going to have him take this one back. And I'm going to use the new one. Even though it's like the same one. I want the new one. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So yeah. Oh yeah, so like before when I was talking about Animal Crossing, when I got into it, I it, I used uh, my husband's switch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, I used my husband's twitch, not twitch, um, switch. And I played it all the time. Because I mean, there was nothing else to do. You know, I mean, we're stuck at home. So, like, what am I going to do? So, I just played on his. And then, like, everyone was buying Switches. So, like, there was, like, a shortage of him. And, like, his birthday was coming up. You know, so, like, I really wanted to get him one. Because I basically stole his Switch. And, but so at the same time, you know, I was like, oh, maybe I'll buy a Switch for myself. You know, like, a Switch Lite. But then, like, I was reading and stuff. And it was like, oh, yeah, your village isn't going to transfer. And I liked my villagers. So then, like, I was like, okay, let me just get him a new switch. And I was looking and looking, and, like, it wasn't there. I'm like, one morning, in the mor one morning, you know, out of curiosity, I went on Best Buy. And he had the switch. I was like, oh my gosh, should I buy it? You know? And then I put my phone down, like, thinking about it. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it for his birthday. Because I took his switch, and I feel bad. So I bought it, and then I was waiting for it to come, and like it came, I was like, happy birthday, bro! <laughs> so you know, I have a new switch. Three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, technically it's not new anymore, but it was newer than mine. And then like after that, I think they came out with the update or whatever, where... You could move it to another switch, or maybe it was like a couple months after he he got his switch, and then yeah, and then I was like, oh, maybe I'll transfer it or something, but I never did. And like I have all the all his old games on my computer, <laughs> not my computer, my um on my switch. So yeah, one. Thought I messed up for a minute, but I'm okay.
think I messed up. I did. I'm supposed to decrease on my last one. Let's go to my back. Last decrease. There, decrease. One, two, three, four, five. It's just one, so yeah, I messed up somewhere. One, two, three, four, five. It should be a decrease. Nope. Okay, that's a decrease. Count it to make sure of enough. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Two of these decrease. One, two, three, four, five. Two decrease. Okay. I'm good. that talking some music kind of random though I oh, don't know I'm using royalty free music it's kind of weird what the heck's going on I don't know what's going on Hold on, let me pause it and see if it is that. It's kind of weird. I guess it is. I don't know what that song ended. I don't know. Play it, please. Why is it playing? Oh my god. Okay. God damn. Yeah, you just do it. Yeah, I just did the finish with a decrease. Okay, so I'm on the next row now. So one, two. This, I sh this does look like it's gonna be bigger. It really does. I don't know. We'll see. Here. Let me get my octopus. Two. Decrease.
Sorry guys, I have to readjust. Oh. Right, we're almost there. One more row and then we get to stuff the body. have seen but they have like tension rings on Amazon I'm kind of debating buying one too wait damn it I don't know where I am I think it's this right one hold on I'm a count wait I'm debating buying one because I think it'll help with my tension but I've been kind of reading on it. Some people say it helps, others say it doesn't. So, no, I don't really know what I want to do. So, yeah. One. So, I should have 24. So, we'll see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, I'm good. Alright. Now I know what I have to do. So I did one, two single crochet in decrease. So after this one, I get to stuff it with one more, and then we'll be almost done. One, two. Oh, sorry. Keep doing that. I don't know why. One, two. Now I get to stuff my body. So I'm just gonna use this one because it's like right next to it. See, this is why I wanted to stuff the bottom first because the hole is really small. It's gonna be kind of hard to stuff in there, I think, and get all the way to the bottom. So, yeah. Let's just stuff it. It gives you like this thing for like corners and stuff. It's basically a chopstick. Here, let me show you guys. It's a chopstick. They basically give you a chopstick. 
So yeah, like this one, like when I was sewing, like flat stuff, like I would use it to for like corners to make it like pointy, you know? So yeah, I don't know like what I would use for like, I don't know, I don't think I can really like push it in. Can I? Not really. I feel like I can't. I don't know. But yeah, let's stuff it in. I need more. It does use quite a bit of stuffing, but I feel like it's just your preference. How much stuff do you want it to be? Because I like it pretty firm. You know? To move it around and see. Like, I feel like it needs more. I think this is good enough. Because once I close them, I'll be more firm. I think. Yeah, I think that's good. I kind of like roll it around, I think. You know? Almost done. Well, I like the same size. Cool, cool, cool. That's what I wanted. Alright. So I need two more rows. I should not have folded it tight. Where is it? Here. Okay. Almost done. I'm excited. When ah, go in there. One thing about crocheting and having pets is that their hair gets everywhere. Like, I just crocheted his hair. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. But I, like, just crocheted it. It's a decrease now. Okay, I'll go one more row. This is the final row. So for the final row, I don't really use this, the stitch marker. I just count it. Because like this, the, there isn't a lot of room. So yeah, I need to do this, decrease it six times. I'm just going to count it. One... Three, four, five, six. Okay. Yay, almost done. We just gotta sew it up. I'm gonna leave kind of a long tail. I think that's good, like that much. Okay. 
No, one of the things I learned... Was that from Hooked by Robin? It might have been Hooked by Robin or all from Jade on how to close it. Because you see, like, this is my last robe. I still have, like, a hole. So this is one thing I learned that I use anytime I end in a magic circle like this. Well, not magic circle, like, in a circle like this and there's a hole. And this is what I do because I think it's a neat trick. So you're going to get your needle and you're going to put it under the first, the top loop top one and you're just gonna go around with each stitch and I just count it so that's one two three four five I don't think I had to do a tail this long. You just pull it tight and then say close, you know? And then another thing I do because it's like a little pointy. I don't want that. We don't we don't want that. No, we don't. So I'm gonna do a knot first. Okay. Like that. I'm gonna do another one just to be safe. Yeah, I did way too much yarn. Okay. And it's still pointy. So I'm gonna put it through the middle and have it come out on the bottom. Just push it. And then just pull it. And it's kinda concave, but I like to like massage it back out. Like, I think that's good. I think I could have stuffed it more actually. It's kind of misshape it. <laughs> Let me shape it. Okay. It's, it's, it's a little better, no? So, yeah. I'm gonna just sew my ends in. And then we'll be done with this. So I'm kind of debating doing like a craft show. <clears throat> there's one coming up. But like next weekend there's one. But then the only thing is, well two things. First, I don't know how much the fee is, you know, to like be a vendor there. And I don't really have like, I have like a table, like foldable table I could use. But I don't have like that little canopy thingy. And another thing, the biggest thing really, well, and then like, you know, like with the fee, and I was like, I don't know like how much it is. So it's like, I don't know if I'm going to even break even, you know, but like it is like an investment. But I don't know if I want to take that risk. But also another thing is that since my friend is selling my stuff for me, she has like, a, she basically has all my stock. The only stuff I have is like the stuff I'm trying to make. To give to her again so it's like she can like have more colors and stuff so i don't really have that much that i could sh sell at a craft show so it's like i don't know i don't think i don't know because i could be like hey can you send it to me you know or like i mean of course we can like do it together but i don't know what her schedule is like so last minute you know and i don't I don't want to like give people out like I don't have like PayPal and like all that stuff. So it's like I would want like cash, but like I have to get change too and stuff, you know. So it's, I don't know what I want to do. But yeah, okay, so we're done. The octopus. I don't think I'm gonna be a vendor there though, honestly. Like, I think I'm gonna walk around and see what they have, cause we had a fair here. And it's, I think today's the last day. And, um, they did, like, have, like, a craft area. Like, a place for people to sell your crafts. But it was, like, kind of hidden. And there were people, like, selling 
like handmade yarn and um like someone had like their crochet stuff too but they didn't really like have a lot but also at the same time you know it's like they're kind of hidden like i don't know how many people are gonna go back there so yeah I don't know. I think I could have definitely stuffed it a little bit more. But here's the final product. I think they're the same size. And here's the pink one. So stuff. See the blush? It's a little darker. I think they're pretty cute. Yeah. So yeah, I sell these for $20. Yeah. Okay. So thank you for joining me on today's stream um took like two hours to finish it i really didn't think it was gonna take that long to finish it but it did so probably this whole thing probably took i think yesterday's stream was like an hour but then i had that little break in the beginning so i think this took like maybe in total because of stuff i did off camera Maybe like three, three and a half hours if you guys want to make one. But of course, like, you know, it's, the time's going to depend on, you know, how experienced you are, how fast you are, you know, because I'm sure if I was like a faster crocheter, I could have done it a lot faster. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, like sometimes, you know, like I just get in the groove of it and like I get, I can go really fast, but I didn't get into the groove of it today. So yeah um link will be in the description for this pattern and tutorial and my friend's info that's selling my stuff for me okay so i'll see you guys later um i'm gonna go take a break right now i might stream again later maybe i don't know yet but yeah oh let me show you guys all the stuff i have to make for the restock because it's kind of a lot and I really need to get my stuff together and do it. Let me try to find the page. So yeah. It is a lot. So it's, the, it's like mostly the stuff that she's um sold. But some of them is like custom orders. I guess technically custom orders. So I have to make all this stuff here. Let me move it closer so you guys can see. Can you guys see it? I think so. Okay. So, oh wait. Let me fix my camera. Uh oh. Alright. I'm a professional, okay guys? I'm a professional. So I have to make an octopus keychain. I have to make two of them an orange and a mint green. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five bracelets I have to make. Um, I didn't even count the ones that I had that, that I showed you guys yesterday because I have four of those, but it's not the same pink. And then I have to make scrunchies. This one's gonna, these, the scrunch and the beanie you have to make isn't gonna take that long only because I use my knitting machine. So, like, the longest part I would say would be like, sewing it up together but these won't take that long and then I have to make two beanies I have to make two octopus plushes in light pink it's not this light pink it's a lighter pink but like on camera it doesn't do it justice because like like it shows up as like light pink but it's like this is kind of like it's not hot pink but it's like a shade shade lighter than hot pink Okay, because like this cheek is hot pink, but it's not showing up as hot pink. At least on my computer, it's not. Maybe it is on your guys. I don't know. So, to do that, and then my custom stuff um, is a mushroom keychain. I made it. I made some before, with the intent of selling it as a keychain, but I just, I just didn't have fun making it. But uh my friend that's selling my stuff for me she's her friend wants one so i'm gonna make it because she's really supportive she buys a lot of my stuff and then also from her friend i don't know if it's the same friend but then um 
She wants a stingray for her kid. I think I found a pattern on Pinterest. Should double check in and see if I have everything for that. And then like a pink ruffled scrunchie that my friend wants. So I have to make, oh, that's not even one. That's like two of them. I need to make two of those. So yeah, that's all that stuff I have to make. Um, I don't know when I'm going to make all this stuff sometime this week. Um, I think I'm going to stream most of it. I think the only ones I'm not going to stream is the octopus because you guys already watched me make an octopus. And I don't, I don't know, I don't think you guys want to watch Steam and make another octopus. But yeah. And then... Yeah, we'll see. I think I'm gonna stream again later, but I just want to take a break right now. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, all right. Have a great day, guys. Uh, if you guys made it to the end, I'm proud of you for making it to the end. Cause I don't know if I would have made it to the end of watching, honestly. I'm gonna be honest. So yeah. All right. Have a good day, guys. Um, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye, guys.